Hey there everyone, what's going on? Joe Mari here from MobileCoverJoe.com. In this episode of Mobile Cover Joe, I'm going to be showing you all how to make your Android phone look like stock Android Jelly Bean. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring over and set on down. Take a swig for a mobile cup of Joe. So I'm going to be showing you how to make your phone look like Android Jelly Bean, a stock version of Jelly Bean, on the LG Optimus G. Keep in mind this thing has a quad-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor with 2 GB of RAM. So what you see on here uh, is probably going to run a bit faster than what you're going to find on the smartphone you try this on, just because its specs are above what you usually see on smartphones. It should still run very smoothly, just keep in mind it may not run as fast. Now the thing, as you can see, also has LG's 3.0 Optimus user interface layered over it. So you can see when we're swiping through our home screens and our application drawer. Uh, personally, I really like Opt LG's Optimus 3.0 user interface. Uh, it's got a ton of customization options. One thing I'm not so keen on is the cartoony look and feel that it gives to the phone. Uh, it kind of looks a lot like, to me anyways, uh, Samsung's TouchWiz user in interface, which is very cartoony as well. It just looks a little bit more childish than the stock version of Jelly Bean of Android. We're going to change that, though, and show you, you guys how to in this video. So the first application we need to download is Nova Launcher. So let's go to your Google Play Store and search for Nova Launcher right there. And it is by, who is it by? It's by Tesla Coil Software. It's a 2.35 megabyte download. Oh, there is a paid version you can get. We're just going to be using the free version, though, because that's what I use, and it seems to work the best for me. So after you download that, just back out of it, and you're going to hit your home button. It's going to give you a choice for your home or ape Nova Launcher. I'm going to use Nova Launcher and go to there. So this clock right here will not be on Nova Launcher. This is another uh, application we have to download. But once you do install Nova Launcher, it should look a lot like this. It's very, very smooth. It looks a lot like you got Project Butter on here. Obviously, you technically don't, but it's a very smooth launcher. You can see we slide through our applications with ease. You may notice, though, when I try to slide to the right to get to our widgets, uh, it just gives us a little effect. Normally with stock Android Jelly Bean, we keep sliding from our applications and we'll get to see our widgets. Uh, for Nova Launcher, though, you actually have to tap on your widgets and it brings up a list of them vertically, uh, very similar to how widgets were presented when you wanted to add them in Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Uh, so this is kind of an unattractive point of Nova Launcher, but I can get over it pretty easily. Like I said, not the most attractive thing, but it still does work. Uh, one of the biggest downsides to Nova Launcher, actually, but we'll get into the pros of it actually right now. Uh, the reason I use Nova Launcher over other Android Jelly Bean launchers is for its awesome customization. Uh, you can choose your different desktop uh, transition effects. You can choose if you want to have ice cream sandwich or Jelly Bean uh, search bar. Uh, you can choose a ton of different effects. Your scroll effect, wallpaper scrolling, infinite scroll. you got a ton of different options. Uh, you can also choose uh, your transition effect. Uh, in your app drawer, you can choose uh, what drawers to show first. Uh, if you want to show the widgets at all, your scroll effect, different things like that. You can even choose uh, what the docs look like. Oh, you're below here, your dock right here. You can choose what apps to display on here. You can actually slide it over and display multiple ones. This is not available on any version of Android. Oh, it's really nice to see an added dock space. Another cool thing with Apex is that, or Nova Launcher, is that you can choose your folder icons and everything. So, right now we have a stock stack folder preview. Let's select grid. And for a folder background, let's select platform. So, back out of that. And you see that our folders now are customized. Oh, this is something you cannot get in a stock version of Android Jelly Bean. So, it's really nice to see added customization to Nova Launcher. Now, the next thing we need to get to make our Android device look like stock Jelly Bean is this clock right here. So once again, we're going to go to our Google Play Store, and we're going to search for Jelly Bean Clock right there. And we're going to download the one by, how do you pronounce his name? Chills Apps. That's a company, not a name. And it's by Chills Apps, Nexus 4 Clock. It's 4.87 megabytes. We're going to back out of that, and once you do get it, 
you can get this awesome clock that was first introduced on the LG Nexus 4 with Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Now after you do that, the next application we need to install is Hollow Locker. So this is the lock screen that you're going to see on Android Jelly Bean devices. We're going to go to the Google Play Store once again. And we're going to search for Jelly Bean Lock Screen. And it is right here. It's called Hollow Locker. It's by Mobint Software. It's a 367 gigabyte download, so one of the, the smallest of the bunch. And once you download that, you can go to Hollow Locker. And uh, real quick, before we do enable it, I'd like to show you uh, what the lock screen looks like with LG's Optimus 3.0 user interface. Uh, very pretty, nonetheless. I love the effect. But if we go to Hollow Locker and enable Hollow Locker, and we back out and we lock the device and we power back on, you can see that we have a uh, little stock version of Android Jelly Bean Locker. What's cool with this, when you hold it down, you can either go to your Google Voice search or go to your camera or go to unlock the device. Now it works really great. It's nice to have those little different options right there. So if you want to turn your device on and slide up, I'll take you right to Google search. Now, if you have uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean or above uh, on your device, uh, this should take you to Google Now, but since this is LG Optimus G is running Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, we don't have Google Now, so it just takes us to Google Search that's on the device stock. So once you get your little hollow locker, you need to get uh, wallpapers and icons for your device. As you can see, this wallpaper is still an LG Optimus wallpaper, and these icons right here our LG Optimus 3.0 icons as well. So to change that, we're going to go to the Google Play Store and we're going to search for Jelly Bean HD. And it is Jelly Bean Apex slash Nova theme. It is 8.23 megabytes. And this is going to give us HD Jelly Bean wallpapers and icons. So once you do download that, first off, let's go ahead and change our wallpaper. Hold down on the screen and go to Wallpapers, Jelly Bean HD. You got a wide selection of jelly bean and ice cream sandwich wallpapers to choose from. Uh, we're going to select this yellow one because that's the one that's by default on the LG Nexus 4. And it was introduced with 4.2 jelly bean as well. So after you do that, you're going to change these icons. All you got to do is go to your Nova settings, go to look and feel, go to icon theme, and select jelly bean HD. Back out of that, you can see our icons are different now. Instead of being the LG's Optimus 3.0 icons, we have the stock uh, Android icons. You can see that our settings icon is the same, the phone, contacts, messaging, camera application icons are all the same. Uh, this is going to change every icon you have for your app uh, to the stock look of Android Jelly Bean if they were altered by a manufacturer's user interface. Now the last application we do need to install to make this device really look like Android Jelly Bean is of course the Android keyboard. Once again, for the last time, go to your Google Play Store. And this time, we're going to search for the Jelly Bean Keyboard. And it is going to be, should be the first result. And it is Jelly Bean Keyboard by, if it wants to rotate, a VLLWP Volp. I'll call it Volp if you want to. It's uh, 6.75 megabytes. Once you download that, next time you go to your search, you can see you got an Android Jelly Bean Keyboard right there. It looks great in both portrait and a landscape mode. And that's really all there is to it to make your Android phone look like a stock version of Android Jelly Bean. Like I said, there are many other ways to make it look like stock Jelly Bean in terms of launchers. We use Nova Launcher on here. Uh, you can also get Apex or Hollow Launcher. Another thing I like about Nova Launcher that I forgot to mention is the speed you can choose for it. It's in desktop settings. And if you go to... Where are you? Oh, well... Uh, I can't find it right now, but is it in look and feel? Yeah, if you go to look and feel, you can choose the animation speed. So right now, animation and scroll speed. So right now, our scroll speed is set to Nova. Uh, you can choose for relax. If you want it to be really slow, I will show you that first, show you what it looks like on a relaxed version. So you can see that it's not as fast as it was. It's a nice little uh, smooth effect, and you really get the transition effect on there. We go back to our Nova settings and we go to look and feel again. We go to scroll speed. And this time, you know, for fun, let's go to faster than light and show you the speed difference. So you see, it completely really just basically cuts out 
the uh, animation effect and just makes it ridiculously speedy. This is one of my favorite features of it, so you can choose, you know, if you want to just be crazy, crazy fast and uh, have no animation, just get through everything you need to get to it, warp speed, this is a really, really cool. Uh, again, you can choose from a couple different options for this. You can choose a uh, relaxed stock Nova fast or faster than light. Uh, Nova is the one that comes preloaded on and it seems to work the best. But there you go, quick little how-to guide on how to make your little Android phone look like stock Android Jelly Bean. Keep in mind, uh, to do this, you will need to have a device running 4.0 ice cream sandwich or higher. But hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, if you liked the video, please go ahead, hit the like button if you liked it. It takes one second to do so. It really helps support the show. And if you want to show your support towards the show even more, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I think it's at the bottom of the screen now, the way YouTube changed their redesign. No longer at the top. you got to click it at the bottom of your screen to subscribe and show your support to Mobile Cup of Joe. Uh, and, you know, you guys all know, we are, of course, on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And don't you forget to check out our website at www.mobilecupofjoe.com for your latest mobile tech news. And if you are interested in purchasing the LG Optimus G on Ting service, use the link in the description below to use a custom link to go to Ting's website and purchase the Optimus G. Get a $25 credit off of it or any other Ting phone you decide to purchase. And each time you use the link and do purchase a device on Ting with the link, you help support Mobile Cup of Joe. So don't forget, link in the description below to purchase this or any other phone on Ting. Uh, I am Joe Marring from MobileCupofJoe.com. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.